It's been almost two years since I last covered Jedi Knight, a game that was a big part of my early childhood. Despite already covering the vanilla game, and then the remastered mod, I did plan on returning to Jedi Knight one day, specifically covering the novels which were surprisingly good. But then I caught wind of Jedi Knight being remade in Unreal Engine 4. And three weeks ago, they released a demo, which turned out to be a pleasant surprise. This will be a quickie video, but I do want to put a spotlight on this impressive piece of work. This impressive work in progress piece of work. And just share my thoughts. The things that look promising, and the things that look a bit concerning. Let's take a look. The Jedi Knight Remake demo gives us a taste of what the Jedi Knight game would play like in the modern Unreal Engine 4. You got two single player slices, one on Nar Shadda, and the other in a duel with Yun, a dark Jedi. And as a bonus, they threw in a survival mode. It's a surprisingly meaty package for a fan mod. So let's go through the content. The first level throws you on Nar Shadda. Right off the bat, you're treated to an upscaled and 60 FPS interpolated cutscene from the original. It's not perfect, but it's definitely a much better viewing experience than the low res full motion video resolution that it was originally shot on. Getting into the game, the demo shows off how faithfully one to one the level and encounters are in the modern engine. Everything seems so lovingly recreated. But otherwise, nothing new is really added, besides the modern visual polish. As well as some modern sensibilities I'll get to later. But it's really impressive how well it ultimately transitions into a modern engine. But you know what doesn't translate well? The second level. After dying some 18 times with who's supposed to be the first boss you face in the original game, I just accepted that the lightsaber combat is really undercooked right now. And finally on offer, we get the survival modes. I'm someone who doesn't enjoy the survival modes they put into games, mostly because there's no context or story, just a test of skill. But I actually had a great time with the survival modes. And I did overcome the first one, surviving the waves of gangsters and stormtroopers before being rescued by Jan. The second level in the survival mode though, I wasn't able to overcome. The level design felt more constrained, and I did come out feeling like I had less room to breathe in. Being forced into these choke points, and dealing with guys like these. Speaking of whom, they are new to this remake, which makes me wonder if the modders intend to take some more creative liberties with the single player campaign. I mean, I can't imagine them spending weeks, if not longer, making these models and AI behaviors to not just use them in the main game at all. And that's the journey I had, and you will more or less have too. So after coming away enjoying the surprisingly good demo, what do I find promising? Despite me being impressed with the one-to-one -one recreation of the first level, the thing that stuck out to me the most was how this remake 
might have the best gunplay in the Jedi Knight series. If you watched my Jedi Knight videos, I pointed out how I found the gunplay in Jedi Outcast and Academy to be pretty underwhelming. Incredibly inaccurate and frustrating to use. Whereas in Dark Forces and to a lesser extent, Jedi Knight and Mysteries of the Sith, the gunplay felt much tighter thanks to the generous auto-aiming. But Jedi Knight Remake really strikes a good balance here and just feels more natural. It's not too generous like the old games, but it's also far more accurate and manageable than the newer ones. I even like how enemies react to your shots. In the original, they sort of flinch but it's subtle. Like just shrugging off some damage. Here though, it really feels like they just got hit and reeling from it. Throwing their arms back, stumbling back somewhat. It really gives a sense of weight and oomph to your weapons. Even if the ragdolls do come off a bit silly and floppy. But where the gunplay truly shines is in the survival mode. The survival mode really makes the most out of the combat system. You're given a lot of room to maneuver, you can dodge projectiles, and there's just a sense of rhythm to these firefights. Sorta of like Doom 2016, with all the firefights feeling very dynamic and moving. Circling around the arena definitely feels like the modder's sensibilities were more inspired by at least Doom 2016. It's also here where you get to play with most of the weapons you're supposed to get in the main campaign. Now, even though I am pretty impressed and happy with how much work and love went into the package so far, I do feel concerned about some things. Let's talk about the double-edged sword. How the faithful level design might not be ideal for the gunplay. Even though the gunplay is solid, I do feel like the single player levels are going to be very tight and lead to some frustration. With little room to maneuver compared to that survival map, I can see getting hit by enemies just around the corner or in a tight corridor being far more common than you'd like. And I doubt the level design will change to suit the improved and modern gunplay sensibilities. But I only bring this up because of how much better it seems to play out when given the playground found in the survival mode. However, what I'm the most concerned about is the other half of the gameplay. Young, a young and willing dark Jedi. The lightsaber. I really feel like the lightsaber combat is quite work in progress right now. Because it feels so incredibly loose, clunky, and even less satisfying than the original Jedi Knight game. But otherwise... I am incredibly pleased with this demo. This proof of concept shows that a mostly faithful Jedi Knight game can exist in something as modern as the Unreal Engine and be enjoyable. 
Yes, I worry about the lightsaber aspect the most. I imagine the modders are well aware of this issue. But I'm excited to see this mod get finished one day. I definitely had fun with it. And I hope you give it a try. You'll have to go to their Discord to get a link. I'll put it in the description. If you're like me, who grew up on the Jedi Knight games and can tolerate certain old school gaming aspects, but now made shinier, I think you're in for a treat. A taste of what hopefully will come. I'm Sam Blips, and thanks for watching. Leaving so soon? I'd like to thank Nati and Ocean for supporting me on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing for more. I also have a Discord in case you want to talk about Star Wars, games, or anything else on your mind. Thank you and take care.